Hello once again everyone and welcome back to our lore uh, walkthrough lore series. I, I don't know how we can call it to, to be quite frank. We are right where we left fighting this Raya. It's called a Cloaker. Today episode lads it's charge of stuff to see and hello? Now that's odd. It's charged of stuff. It's a lot of things to see. I know I say that almost every episode. This is gonna feel good. But quite frank, that is a, um, including a little bit of a setup today. Remember, I told you uh, last episode, I believe, that I was gonna try and bring up uh, different builds every now and then just to spy things up but well, maybe that's the case today because of something i was thinking about and i'll get to explain it to you once we kill this thing <laughs> which is not difficult apparently oh what is that well, I reckon that I, I can... If I kill the main one, the other ones disappear, right? Saved it three times in a row. Insanity. Well, there we are. Not much of a threat. Uh. It has nothing. Very well. The gauntlet of Shah. I can't believe it. I can't believe we found the Dark Lady's sacred crucible. Okay. It had nothing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where this leads. I think it's another entrance to this very same place. Well, that's that's cool. But yeah, we gotta keep going in this Sharon Temple, this sacred place. I need to keep sharp. Um, and also we gotta go and see about Balthazar. Before that, uh, well, you shall cut because I'm gonna pick up all this stuff. <laughs> very well, all clean. An abandoned journal. The handwriting is hasty. Lopsided scroll about the pages are blots of ink. What may be smudges of dried blood. Lady Shark continues to preserve me. Though escape is impossible, the beast still prowls our, hall, our holes. Uh, though the sound of parts will no longer reach my ears, I fear all my brothers and sisters have fallen in defense of the night, uh, night Singer's sacred gauntlet. But I shall wait. The beast will not linger for long, surely. Shorter entry and handwriting even more skewed and erratic. The piece still remains. Why does it not? Just leave. Okay, why does it not just leave? And why does it sing? The food is gone. I must preserve my strength. The final entry is barely legible. Mistress, embrace me, please. Well, we do know uh, we do know of an entity that likes to sing. And if you don't recall it, well, that would be Raphael. We just spoke to him a bit ago, a little while ago. And all of the rats, the rats are funny. We got here and we uh, we used this, we got some sort of... Yeah, a buff. And that is the rats worshipping the... 
the shower. May the darkness protect you. Yes, thank you. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Unworthy. Unworthy to walk among friendly bones. Leave. How curious. I didn't know I had the animal speaking potion on. Calm down. What are you talking about? I'm talking of you. Intruder. Invader. Unworthy one. These halls are not for you. Uh, back off or I'll be scra scraping your guts off my heel in a moment. Try it. A lot more guts than you'd expect. A lot more. Well, very well. Let's get them. Did you really miss against the rat? Mm, no, they have like one HP. I don't think it's necessary. Still one alive. You kill many, oh. but many remain. Stop. Spare our lives or face my teeth and claws. Every little death fills my head with more thoughts. It's too much, too painful. Kill one more of us and you will pay. How curious are these rat, huh? If I let you leave what's in it for me. There are treasures. Useless to us now, but once they had value, meaning. We hid them away, untouched for a lifetime. Keep your word, and we will reveal them to you. Oh, very well. Uh, your life's for this treasure. You better be level with me. And you better be true to your word. I am small. Oh, Lisa, Lisa Brooks. Now fetch your prize and leave. A curious indeed. They obviously have nothing on them, but anyway, anyway, we need to get going and, and talk to Balthazar. Let's see what all of this is about. Ooh, I I picked up too much rubbish because I. Well, because I sell it afterwards, right? Like, all of this, look at that. That was in the table. The... Things as well. Good afternoon. What a face. Finally. We can talk face to face. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. Um, Srell sent me. She thinks you're in danger of failing your master. General Thor. Rubbish. Everything is at hand here. Srell merely envies the general's faith in me. I am in the midst of a grand strategy, but you're here now, and I may be able to put those limbs to work. You know what's at stake here, I take it. Right, so this is Balthazar. Uh, Balthazar. I cannot pronounce that name in English, the TH. I apologize, guys. S history. Mm, well, I don't know. Might not get it. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna waste the inspiration in that. The thought eludes you. It's not really worth it, but... Saw a passing reference in it would've been cool. Tome. Very well. Said Catholic wants you to find a relic. That's all I know. General form to you. But yes, recovering the relic is the crux of it. He commands, and I, his humble servant, fulfill that command. While you, 
an infinitely more humble servant. Fulfill my command. I will put you to work as a scout. Right. Oh, okay. We got we got that. It's not a difficult throw. Come on. There we are. Fine, if it'll spare me your bleeding. The relic lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. There you go. This relic lends general his strength, his invulnerability. That's where he gets the immortality. You need my help. I do not need you or your help. But you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The relic is close, but the way is barred and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded or fallen. I'd trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. <laughs> but perhaps better to play along for now. <laughs> right. Uh, you have resources to spare. Give me something to aid my search. We can get something out of him. Flesh to aid you on your flesh. Way. Ring this bell, and he will come. Oh, that's his name. My brother is no intellectual powerhouse. The brother, but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. He's your brother. In part, yes. My poor unborn twin. Mother always resented me for it. Said I strangled him in the womb. If you can believe such tripe. Besides, once I developed my powers, I fetched him from the graveyard and brought him back. Gave him a new, better body. Alas, mother was not. Uh. Okay. Lol. Very well, take the bell. Flesh will remain here until Cork. But don't fear. He has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. Very well. So, the thing here, lads, is that you can unravel this whole... Um, events this whole lot of events from here in many many ways what we're gonna do it's because we're a paladin obviously and everything that's evil we kind of want to kill besides you know despite being the dark urge and the, the devil breaker what we're gonna do we're gonna kill him right here so let's close here close the door Let's see, what I wonder though, what I don't know, it's if I use the bell... Will he be my... Mm, like in my team, you know what I mean? Bring me a f Not lost your nerve, I hope. I tend to remove those from my creations. Too much fuss. Uh, I decided to kill you instead. Kill me. Death is my ally, fool. Ah, there we go. So I wanna see right away what happens, or if anything happens, really. If I do this, someone call him Bell. Well, nothing. And I lost my thingy. 
Very well. What can you do, right? Count on me. Let us make short work of this. I made twelve. Where are you going? All right. Let's see. He's got a lot of initiative. Doesn't he? We surely... By the way, lay cell. So that that we want to see today. Lay cell. The build we we got. We got her. It's uh, not doing good. Due to lack of um, items that I required. So we will be doing something else uh, today. Whoa, you really missed that? Not bad. Okay, the big guy. Missed. Let's see what you got. I was waiting for that one. Very well, he's dead then. Now this guy. So, what you guys want to do, and probably, yeah, I think I should tell you this just in case. You want to kill these guys first. Because these guys are gonna come here and they're gonna heal him. They're gonna heal flesh. And they heal a lot. You will see that only when when you got below his half HP, let's say. But in any case you do want to Damn, always failing that one. Time to push my luck again. So yeah, this guy hits hard. But these idiots are gonna be healing him. One day I'll catch a break. Oh, do I manage anything? No. <laughs> okay, let's see. Why do you go at her? Shadowheart has heavy armor. <laughs> God be damned. Garlock is paralyzed. Yeah, okay. It's brown. Time to strike. Yeah, I don't have anything. You see, she's not hitting too much. Time, I guess. It's 
getting up. Hmm. Totally useless. What I did there. Let's see. Wow. Oof. That's not fun. You see? They're healing. They're healing the fucker. He goes, fucker. Right. So today we are benching Lysel for a for a while. Why you might be. Asking yourself, Let's get on with it. well, um, that is related to what I said a while ago about. Uh, okay, everyone else is, yeah, everyone else is fine. What I said a while ago about having different builds every now and then, just to see if that was interesting to see or. It was fun to do. It's definitely fun to play with. But to the matters ahead. Let's see this guy. This one is really good. In fact, this one I, I'm gonna use. Rumbling notes in a spidery jacked hand fill the, fill the volume. They speak of a soul cage binding the life force of one to that of another. A crude drawing shows two figures side by side. The one of the left appears to have a dagger uh, protruding from its chest while the one on the right has a corresponding wound in its own chest not very useful you know it's there by killing him here we also get to pick up uh, all of this which is good that pixie That's his bed. Does the mirror do something? Let's have a look at myself. Mm, he doesn't do anything. Still me, even after everything. Very well. So now that they're all dead, obviously his other minions are dead. So that way we don't we don't have to fight them. Now, this is where I wanted to uh, put aside uh, the lore, whatever we're doing. To focus on the build of today, the different build of today. That's why we're benching Lysel. As you might remember, uh, this door requires a 30. Which is basically a 20. Uh, in, in this case, it's basically getting a critical 20. So... We are going to be bringing Astarion. He's gonna stay for a while, so maybe we get to to unravel his background as well. I'll try to be brief and do the whole thing with the builds uh, quick. Ah, oh, she's up there, sorry. Shah's spirit lingers here. The air's thick with lies and trickery. I do believe I told you, uh, maybe one or two episodes ago, that... 
Are you certain? We have good gear for an for the ranger. Very well. I'll keep watch until you call on me. And that will be very very useful today. This temple certainly is grand. Uh, well, it's a rundown bearing the weight of centuries sort of grand, which is my favorite kind, incidentally. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Right. Astarion. So. Uh, no. We are going to go to Mo uh, Withers and we are going to respect right away. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. As thou desire. Very well. Now, you must be thinking um, for a Starion Rogue, but, well, we're gonna do Ranger. The thing is we can do whatever, because we're gonna do uh, multi-class, basically. Well, yeah, let's, let's do that, let's do that. Rogue. First of all, we're gonna clean everything up. Sorry if I pause, like, uh, when I'm mid mid talking, but I'm just thinking uh, what I got in mind. So, when I leave the plus two on decks, I wanna do everything. Decks, including the plus two, fifteen plus two, seventeen. Yes, uh, Constitution. Uh, 15 and I'm gonna do the plus one on that I think then wisdom and I think that's how I'm gonna leave it no strength no intelligence I think that's the best way so uh, everything here is all right confirm and we start leveling up Now, level two. That would be, uh, obviously, we have the cunning action. In level three, we choose the subclass, and we want to go with thief because of the fast hands and and, and all that. Obviously, this is gonna be a ranger, an archer, by the way. And today, just today, we are gonna finish his build, and it's gonna be pretty good, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm yet to try it, but I, I, I frankly don't know. That's a so fun. So, level four, uh, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna put the decks. It escalates that way, and I think this one is gonna go to wisdom. It's gonna pay out when we finish leveling up. So, level 5. It's when we add the subclass. You know, we got the... This thing, but now we do the subclass and we do... Uh, Ranger. Right, and here we can choose the favorite enemy. For that, we are gonna go bounty, um, <clears throat> bounty hunter. You gain proficiency in investigation. Creatures you hit with an snaring strike, either range or melee, have disadvantage on their saving throws. Then we also have the explorer, and for which we are gonna use urban tracker. An expert at navigating the wild within the city. You gain proficiency in a sleight of hands. For the sleight of hands, we want that. 
and uh, well everything here it's fine now that's ranger level 2 uh, two new spells in the passive here we could do then searing and snaring strike but to be fair we're not probably never gonna use it you could even put this what we really care about is the hunter's mark mm, so yeah and well Obviously here you want archery because he, this um, this feat it's also worth for crossbows. So we wanna put that on. Now level three. Level three we get the uh, we get to add the no no no. Forgive me, I got confused. Well, you can add a spell. That doesn't really matter, I think. Long Strider for mobility. But this is what it matters. The subclass within the subclass. Uh, the Gloom Stalker. Emerging like a horrible gift from the um, envelope of darkness and shadow. You ambush and put down your foes before they can even scream. We get a superior dark vision. And the dread ambush ambusher, which is uh, which is what we wanted. You specialize in taking out foes swiftly and ruthlessly. You gain a plus three bonus on, uh, to initiative. On the first turn of combat, your movement speed increases by three meters, and you can uh, make an attack that deals an additional one d eight damage. It's pretty nift. Uh, replace nothing because why? Level four of the ranger we get the feet and for this one we're not gonna do the ability improvement because there is another one here i think it's this one <clears throat> um no 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 it has to be sharpshooter then there we go your ranged weapon attacks do not receive penalties from high ground rules. So basically when we are down and the enemy is up above, we don't we no longer have the disadvantage on positioning. See? And that's about it. Now when it comes to the build, uh, let you know that it is not completely finished but we do have a few things I believe this one we got last episode or in the last two episodes we got it the circle of hunting Um I could sit here and explain everything that every little it item does but I think it's kind of boring for people to watch so feel free to pause it and read it I'm gonna use the circle of hunting. Now, next item, let's get. This is gonna be a ranger and archer, as I told you, but we do want knives and daggers and stuff like that. So I was thinking. Remember this? Very rare item we picked up not so long ago. The knife of the Under Mountain King. Well, the, the, the knife of the king under the mountain that one's good um, we got the saucer sickle we made this in the forge uh, down the down below the goblin camp way back sickle of boa we got <laughs> uh, fire stoker remember that one so there is many other things that we can use, but let me let me sort this by type. Okay. But instead of the sickle, we could use, and I feel I think Will has it. 
it's the the dagger of sacrifice or something like that we stole it from the from that guy uh, who worshipped some goddess of pain you might remember that yeah there it is ritual dagger And the thing is with Astarion, we might put that artist artifact to use. Something we never really did with Will. Hmm, well this one. So we got the ritual dagger. We got the knife. Now I think we're gonna have to strip Will as well because Will has. Mm, wait, where is Will? Here. Will has this armor plus one bonus on stealth checks. And the cloak as well. It's gonna be very useful for him. So let's get. Let's get dressing him. Now, he can definitely use this. As for the as for the rings, I believe we picked up this one. Concentrate on a spell. The word uh, the word's weapon attacks deal an additional one for physical damage. We could use that. Why not? Uh, I believe Will also Will has the Cloves of Power which this is initiative in uh, well it has a plus one on sleight of hands basically which are going to be very useful for uh, opening stuff stealing now necklace Mm, the one I thought has to be here. Can I, touch I think it's that one. No. no. Uh, in that case, I gotta have it. Hmm. Odd. Halsin. No. So, what were you before you were this? There is no before. So you've always been hmm. in a sense. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, the physic spark. Who has it? Will. I'm, I'm, I'm stealing everything from Will. So. Physics Spark for me. Uh, well, for Starion. Then. Um, I don't know who might have it, but. The Cloves of Dexterity as well. It's gonna be very useful. Well, someone's got to have them. Heroism. I don't even remember how they look, quite frankly. I have a lot of them. Let's see. There it, there it is. Close of dexterity. Because those are the ones we are going to have... Um, most of the time it's pretty easy so we're gonna have the the close of dexterity most of the time and then when we want to steal and stuff like that we put them the others 
now uh, we got the physics park the stark mantle there now we need the we got this ring the risky ring as well it's good but something that vexes me guys it's that I am missing a ring <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I if I sold it or something so I'll tell you what I'll check it out I'll check out where uh, the ring is and I'll let you know but before that why do we want a ranger in first of all because we got the fire stoker and so this is the thing the build will not be complete just yet we will complete it today but it's not complete just yet why we want to have two crossbows one in each hand and the only one i got at the moment is uh the fire stoker the other ones are two-handed so i guess i'm gonna have this one in the meanwhile well like that so that is the idea first of all why because you can you only use the action on the right hand and in the left hand it's like a bonus action so you get the two attacks still let's uh let's see if i can show you what i mean for example see and you could still shoot from the left basically so that's why we want to do that however oh yeah and by the way we also have this one Plus two, uh, plus one on bonus to stealth checks. Gain plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws. So that could be useful, or could even be better than the one with what we've got already. And since we're looking at the bills, sorry for being so upsetting. This one is gonna be really good for us. Because remember, we are trying to be some sort of Dark Knight, Necromancer, Paladin sort of thing. So this one. Uh, to us. And since we're not going to use the helm, I guess we can give it to Shadowheart. She's uh, heavy armor. But. Let me check where that ring is and I'll come back to you. Because I, I can't believe I don't have it. Very well, guys. So there is a chance that we can get it. There is a chance that I didn't buy it. Hopefully. Because if I didn't, we can still get it. Mike on it. Very well. So, the person who has this thing, and why am I encumbered? I don't know why I have so much rubbish. Such depth to the shadows. I don't care what others say about the Underdark. It's beautiful down here. I'm used to a crypt's gloom. Maybe we can still go back to the other. This is something else. It's because I picked up uh, Astarian stuff on to me, I think. I don't know half of what they're saying. But at least they're peaceful. Perhaps Amelium is right. They should be the mask. There we are. So the ring I'm missing, I was supposed to buy it from the dwarf uh the dwarf mentioned here 
I don't know if you guys remember her. We'll be clearing out soon enough. No point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. There it is. The caustic band. Uh, your weapon attacks also deals two acid damage. That's really good. And it's really good for the bill as well. So, you know. Since I'm already here, I might as well buy a few of these things. The poisons as well. We're gonna start using them. Uh, if you don't have animals speaking. We love that. Oh, the worms potion. The the worms potion. That's also uh, necessary. Very well. So there's the ring. We can go back now, where we left. Very well. Since we got the ring. Careful. Right. I didn't even put the boots. I would like to apologize guys. I know this is uh you, you don't you don't watch the series for this, but to be completely Frank, it's uh, it's just another one of the things that are really that are really cool about the game that you can just get going with this uh, with this sort of thing. Yeah, there we go for boots, apparent death, and we are gonna we're gonna change this one for the. The one we uh, we just got. What were you before you were this? this one. There is no before. So you've always been a bone. All is ash and meat. Right. At least to me, this is one of the the things you can just waste your time away, and it's still fun to see how differently you can play basically in this series i'm also taking the liberty of doing a lot of things that i that i didn't do before oh yeah in this chest i i forgot about so it's a good thing we came back well had nothing on it but it's all right Oh, since we have a Starion, Don't touch me. we can definitely uh, use the Illithid stuff. Because he's going to like it as well. He's one of the ones that like that stuff. So, Illithid Persuasion to, to begin with. And I will advise favorable beginnings. And then this one. This one's really good. Luck of the, uh, of the Far Realms. In the meanwhile, still breathing. Just that. Despite everything. And this door, and it required a thirty to op to be open. We go to a starion. We change our dexterity gloves for this one. How for a 
Assassin King. Look at that. This is basically uh, it's a 12 to 15 total bonus. Basically the same as my 2 to 5. We no longer need a a, thir a 20, you know? Almost, you see? It's not as bad as before. Considering that we got tools. We only need like a um, sort of good throw. Well, if it's bad, still bad, but you know what I mean. Damn, I'm really, I'm being really unlucky today. Fucking hell. I'm gonna waste all my tools. Wow. Let me save. This is going terribly. This story is probably not worth the, uh, to look, but it's just that I, I, I wanted to, to see what it, what it's got. See, that was a lot of throws. But you know, at least it's possible now. Let's see. Hopefully something good. Breathe in and out, look inward. What in the deepest reaches of yourself do you see? A brighter, blinding light, a harsh, exciting sun, or instead you define a comforting velvet darkness. A womb-like place where all you are exactly as you are can find repose. This is the darkness sharp promises, a darkness free from judgment, free from scrutiny in which we are invited to exist in our purest sin, our most essential selves. With some Sharon stuff. Well, Infernal Iron, 300 gold, eh, it's, it's not all too bad. Oh. This is actually good. Might as well wear it myself. Yeah, why not? So, we need to get going um, in regards to the demon that Raphael is sort of afraid of. So this is where we were before, and and we also need to find the the other orb, the other ball that goes in there. Oh, so very interesting. What I tell you now. That creature might not seem obvious to you yet, but that creature wants us to follow him. And as you can see, over here, it's the other ball that we need. How are we in spells? Very fishy, right? So much blood. What the hell's has been happening? There's something out there. I can feel it. What's this? 
fresh entertainment. Oh. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? A dark dweller you may be. But there's a definite whiff of the surface to you. Holy shit. An orphan. Powerful devils. I wouldn't get on their bad side without a good reason. You tiefling. You've got the stench of the hells about you. The stench of home. And a whiff of the surface besides. A servant of Zaria, if I'm not mistaken. I'd know the stench of her infernal machinery anywhere. Well, what I know what is... do you know of infernal machinery? Only what I can smell. And whatever engine burns within you is grinding to an inevitable explosion. Burning and fear. <laughs> you reek with it. There's something else. Almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael. Oh. I can smell him all over you. Where is he? Damn, what a nose, huh? Wait, you know Raphael? That perfume tricked us, swindled me. Trapped me. He wants you dead. So, I'll explain you the movie here, lads. Right? So, there is many ways, as, as usual in this game. This fast game is many ways. You can work this out. There's many ways. You can side with someone and betray the other. And the other way around. And backwards and all of that. But mainly because of the lore that I want to give this character we use in the Paladin and whatnot. Well, everything that is devil, everything that is evil, we want to kill it. So we'll see what we can get out of him. But initially what we want is to kill this guy. So let's see what we can get out of him. So he wants you dead. Where is he? Spit it out. No! We piss off a devil no matter what we do. Pick your poison. We'll handle the fallout like we always do. Let's share our experience about Raphael. Perhaps we can help each other. Let's see what we what he can tell us about. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Right. Usual contract, right? Amongst devils. Show me this contract. Perhaps there's something you missed. It's usually a song with Raphael. Blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder shows halls hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be saved. Your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Very well. Well, that explains where all the dark justicias went. The final lyrics linger in your mind. There is a trick buried within them, a clause that cannot easily be fulfilled. That's it. A pretty tune for a contract that says kill all justicias. Raphael wanted you to kill dark justicias. Why? 
So, okay, let me let me get this first, and I'll and I'll explain it to you. Asking why doesn't get me paid. Hunting and killing does. Raphael mentioned something about an Asima. Meant nothing to me. I did my part. I filled these halls with ghosts. But Raphael's playing some other game. One that involves stiffing me. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. Time to die. Very well, lads. So, in case you don't know, there. Raphael mentioned something about Anasimar meant nothing to me. Well, Anasimar maybe um, pro uh, supposedly it's a person sort of like a half human, half divine god, whatever, sort of like that. And keep that in mind. In the future, you will have to remember about that. However. He has to kill all the jukes, the all the dark justicers that are around. That uh, once he's done, he's free. So, why is he not free? Remember the rats that were worshiping Shar? Well, Raphael turned uh, dark justicers into rats. That's why he cannot live because they're still alive. Uh, why am I telling you this? You can unravel this yourself if you go a different path. But obviously I'm telling you this because we are not going through that. We want to kill demons. We want to kill devils. And hopefully, because we've been avoiding too many fights, hopefully we just fight. So. I'll have both, if I wish. Very well. Attack. This paladin wants to kill all evil, all demons. So, we are not gonna be um, witness our ranger in its full display. But that is very soon to change. Keep that in mind. So hopefully I can... I can put the hunter's mark on him. This is a tough fight, by the way. If you're fight, if you're playing above uh, normal. And we also have this. This is a dread ambusher that I told you about. Uh, however, we lost the uh, the surprise, so I don't know how. There you go, critical hit. Nice. Ooh. That's the Mind Slayer. Nice. Um, uh, oh. Over the half in HP. <laughs> Very well. So, with God, like, probably we want to. Over there. Oh, another thing. We definitely want to get rid of this. Casting a frenzy. That's it. And that thing you saw, which it's a fucking lot of them. I don't know why it's so many. I don't remember it being that many. Wow, he's dead. Well, we're not seeing his full potential. But it's still really good. He got him over the half HP and Karlak finished him off. Nice. Any case. All those things he dropped are bombs. And since we have such a good thrower as Karlak, we can definitely... Throw, throw one back. So these guys are going to start getting closer to us. Too bad. 
I didn't manage to have a... Mm, they're exploding the bombs. Okay, there they are. Are you alright? There's way too many bombs for me to live as it is. Mm. I should have used the blessing, but yeah, I mean, I'm trying to work with, with what I have. I think this fight uh, goes a bit weird because there is just so many, <laughs> so many people in the screen. So let's see what they do. Fuck. There's one of them there. I didn't see it. They got stick to the wall. I could have used that. Look at that. So if they don't shoot, they're just gonna start moving around. That gives me a little time. Although these guys are close. Stop doing that. Oh, motherfucker. And Carla is right at the middle of everything. <laughs> right. So what I should have done, and I didn't, and I didn't even talk about it. It's uh, with a starion. You should uh, choose your your um, crossbows and infuse them in poison or something. I wonder what... I wonder if something happens if I do that. Well... Didn't do any damage to anyone, really. Let's grab it. That's not so too good idea. <laughs> Too bad. Bye forever, pal. <laughs> right, let's see. shit Oh he moved <clears throat> Oh that is not good
Boah. Okay, I can still save this. If I do this. Right. Is the other one still alive? No. Mm. Execution. Well, if I do this, they have to go through shards, so it's probably not too bad. Oh. Why are they going there? Because if I can throw it there. Oh no. That is not good. Uh. <laughs> I'm dead. Very well. We can still get this. No problem. Something like that, maybe. Definitely should have casted a, a, a weapon there. I don't know why I didn't. You don't have any more bombs there, right? Far away. Good 
We can still do this even if I'm dead. <laughs> Let's finish this. I just gotta keep hitting. <laughs> well, they are immune to fire, quite probably. There he goes. Well, as long as, long as she doesn't get pushed. Okay. <laughs> Saved it both. Nice. HP. No, dude. <laughs> if I would, if I would have got that one right, probably they both could have died. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna move here. Yeah, that's it. Imagine what I suffer in tactician. <laughs> So these guys <laughs> have, oh look at that, Infernal Metal, and that was the guy, by the way, that was the Jurger, the demon, but we also looted from him, attention to this, Hellfire Hand Crossbow, which is basically, uh, well, first of all, possibly inflict burning when hitting a creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible so to our rogue it's really good and that is the one that we were missing um when it comes to our set and i put the hellfire on the right hand and the fire stalker here And that would be it with this build. Each of these halberds are sold for like 50 or 60 gold, so it's, it's not a bad uh, fight for XP and whatnot. Yeah, it's a bit fucky because everyone is distributed all over the arena. Look at that. And there I am, in the ground, dead. Can't afford to stay idle. Take you. Close at hand. I don't know why it gets like that sometimes. Come on, get close. And there's the Umbro gem, but we need to... What am I doing here? Well, we need to use the elevator. A bed. 
bed made of corpses. Disgusting and uncomfortable. Gross. Anyway. I wonder what the next move Come on, shard. Oh, I cannot use one of those. Anyway. Off we go, then. No one stopped me yet. Right. In this area, lads, there is much more to explore and discover. There is much more to uh, lore to unravel in this very area. Got a lot of things here. Oh, look at that. For the bards. But... This is where we are going to leave it for today. I always say it's going to be a long episode and I always manage to show what I want in less than I think I need. But we are going to leave it here for today because next time we're going to be integrating into Shadow Hearts background and story. And it's going to be very interesting. So I do apologize that the episode was sort of a setup and builds and stuff. And we didn't see much other than Raphael's demon and Balthazar. But some of the episodes have to be uh, like this, you know, in order to build up for what's coming. So I really hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Remember next episode, we are already uh, all ready to go. To keep exploring, to keep unraveling story, to keep digging up the lore. So I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.